<laughs> Dispersion is where white light, so this is not monochromatic light, this is white light, which is a mix of all different lights, can be split apart into a rainbow, into all the colours of the spectrum. So, I mean, why does it have to be this triangular prism shape? Well, you've got to think about it in terms of um, the glass block. The glass block had two parallel lines, so it meant that it was refracted one way here and refracted back, if you like, on the other side. So it left, it leaves parallel. Because these two lines aren't parallel, it's refracted in the same direction each time. So it, the refraction here kind of adds up with the refraction here, and so you get the dispersion here. Where it goes in, where it comes out. And the last thing I'm going to mark is not just where it comes out. I'm going to mark actually the width of that. And I'm going to mark where the red's gone to and where the blue has gone to, or the indigo, the far side there. And I don't know if you can just see that on the camera. Not very well. Okay, you can actually see the dispersion into the different colours just there. Okay. This was my incident ray. I then got some of the incident ray refracting only that far and some of it refracting a bit further through the glass prism. Then I've got extra refraction in the same direction, even though it's still going uh, in relation to a normal way you'd expect. And actually I had the red refracting overall less than the blue. So each of the different colours of the spectrum refract a different amount. So they actually spread out into the visible spectrum. Richard of York gave battle in vain, which would be all the way between there and there. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you. It's because they're all different wavelengths there. Their speed changes more or less depending on um, what wavelength they are in this medium. Okay, so if you like, the refractive index for red is different from the refractive index for violet for this medium. Okay, that light might be a little bit hot, so actually there's a bit of the spectrum that we can't really see which refracts even less, and that would be the infrared portion. And a bit of the spectrum, if it has high enough energy, it will have a little bit, but not enough, not a lot. There's a part of the spectrum that we can't see either, the ultraviolet spectrum. So the different wavelengths have different properties within, the, uh, within this mix of light here. Thanks for watching this video from Gorilla Physics. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you have, why not go ahead and subscribe. I hope you found it useful, so please tell your friends, and every like and share that we get helps us be more useful to more people.